How you done? Brazzy's sitting beside me. It's Arthur's Day. We were just talking about how we did this a couple of years ago when the blizzards were full flight and we were very excited to be playing the first Arthur's Day. Here you are, well here you are back in Dublin. You're in London at the moment. Uh, Living the high life? I, I wouldn't say it's the high life. Well, your Twitter lies then. <laughs> I, do, I do live there, but yeah, no, yeah. It's, not, it's, definitely not, it's definitely not the high life. But a um, new album coming out in September? Yeah. Just, you performed some really good songs inside. Yeah, it's kind of weird to break them down acoustically. I don't like, don't, I've never, I find it very difficult to do that. Just, you know, I think I like things to sound big and, yeah. you know, heavy and in your face. And I think to do acoustically, sometimes you kind of, you get to appreciate them a bit more. But, you know, it's, it's nice to do that. And, as I said, I was like sitting there last night going, I better try and figure this out on the acoustic. But uh, no, I think it's, you kind of get, you, you, it's something you have to be good at. You know, because yep. you, do, you do this kind of stuff quite a lot. Yeah. And you, you, know, you can't go out with a full band every time. So, you know, I think it's something I'm, I'm, I'm slowly getting used to. And I was talking to your drummer Ronan there. He was saying that it's quiet at the moment, but you're expecting it to ramp up once the new album comes out. Well, not, qu- not quiet, but just, you know. Well, it's quiet not, in terms of live. Yeah. Like, I mean, we, we haven't even thought about the live side of it yet. We're kind of, we're still mi- well, mixing the album and it's changing and it's... You know, every day each song. We don't want to go learning songs and then all of a sudden they change totally. So it's it's kind of the priority right now is to finish the album. Yeah. And then we'll get the live the live side of it right. But it's taken a bit of time, but it's it's not the type of um, it's not like with the with the Blizzards record. It was you know it was quite it was two guitars, there was a couple of vocals, some drums. And, you know we've 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 kind of worked on the production a little bit in this, and we've worked a lot more on more subtle stuff, and it's taken a little bit more time than we'd like. But, that's the nature of music. Yep. Um, do you find living in London is giving you a better perspective on what's happening over here? Well, I think over here is... It's funny, they always say that in London. London's five years behind America in terms of production. And right. America's five years behind... Or five, you know, it's ahead of everybody in terms yeah. of production. But in terms of songwriting, no one beats Ireland. No right. one beats just basic. Give me a guitar, give me a piano, and I'll let you a song. Yep. Whereas in America, it's obviously heavily production-based. and. You know, the first thing you hear in every song is a beat. You walk away from it with no kind of substance, but still sounds good, and it's still good, and it sounds right in the radio, and it's great at the club, and you know, that won't last. And I think in terms of basic, give me a song and I'll write you a song, it's very hard to be, you know, Irish songwriters, but I think what Irish, like a lot of Irish artists could really do with this is that production, you know, okay. element of it, and that kind of, it, more kind of forward thinking. Because if you can actually combine amazing songwriting with, Cutting edge modern production, you can do some serious damage. Did you find the break from the blizzards gave you a better chance or opportunity to write in your own style or to write for yourself? That's funny. I think like, it, it's like everyone expected me to do a solo album and I'll be happy, go lucky, tongue in cheek, and have right. funny blizzard stuff, which, which is what it was. But when I wrote the blizzard stuff, I was in college. I had no, you know, I didn't have any huge responsibilities or anything that really, you know, made me ponder on life or anything and I, I, I still don't really have any I'm, just, I'm still very lucky and I've still been dealt really good cards in life and I've got great family and friends and you know I think you, you start writing differently as you, as you grow up and yeah. you know I'm not trying to be a bloody poet I never will be but I'm just trying to write things that are important to me now that may not, may not necessarily have been important to me seven years ago I, I still and I told you this the last time love the song Why Do You Fancy Scumbags I think it's my favourite from that entire album yeah that was it's funny. that was an afterthought as well that was like in 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 the studio writing it and going the producer was like you have to put that in I was like it's a reggae song they were like who cares you know and I think a lot of people connect it was never a single but a lot of people connected to it and that's the way I write you know I, yeah. I, I write about very simple things that I'm not I said this to the other day, I didn't mean that came out wrong, but I'm not a deep person, I don't right. overthink things, I don't, yep. you know, I think it's the simple things that make people, you know, happy, and I think that's what I try to write about. I was putting my hand there, because I thought I had your single somewhere, your first single is out, thank you, there is his first single, I can't stay young forever, what, is it the best song on the album, do you think? No. Oh, 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 oh. are you going to tell people what you think is the best no, album? Or are you going to not, but right. I, I know, like, it's funny because we're mixing it now, and I know what everyone's favourite song is, and right. the one thing is, is everybody's songs have changed, and some people prefer other songs, and some people prefer slower songs, and it depends what mood you're in, but like, there's a heavy in, kind of 80s influence going through some of them, you know, I, I like the fact that that came out, right. I didn't actually go... That's where my influences come from. I didn't set out to write that type of music, but people start saying, it's, it's in there, and you can hear it, and you can hear the little, the effects, which is lovely, because, you know, 
it, it, I'm doing something right if that's the case in terms of production. Yep. The album, I believe, is out the 18th of September. Is that right? They, they hope it is. They hope it is. Yeah, yeah. And, it, and then um, it, it's Earth's Day on the 22nd. I mean, that's right, yeah. It'll be out 18th. <laughs> um, um, yeah, it's just the week after. That's just coincidence. It's just like, it's perfect timing. Yep. And it's, um, I think, you know, getting put an album out with solo artists is incredibly intimidating, but it's, it's uh, the time has come now to, to man up and do it. And There's a fair amount of cynicism around Arthur's Day. I mean, mm. it is, and, and I'm very aware that I have a PR person sitting right beside yeah, me. Absolutely. But, I mean, it is it is a branded uh, alcohol, um, what, will I, what can I say to you? It is a branded day for an alcohol brand, right? Yes. Um, do you worry about being aligned with it, or do you see the good parts? You see, or you see, you see cynicism is why is what causes half the problems in the world. You know? Like it's an insane day. People yep. love it. It's like Paddy says, "Well, Paddy says only, but people have fun." What's wrong with that? And that's I think people often associate like you know if, if there is a commercial side of it, who cares? You know, yep. the, 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 would you rather us have celebrate a day about I don't know, you know something tragic or something awful it's it's it's, it's the biggest really brand our country has and I mean, if we can celebrate and make me part of it I'll, I'll be part of it and if anybody thinks I'm being commercial or selling out they can they can take it up with my uh, my with my uh, ass because I don't want to them it's 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 pointless and I think that's at the moment is a big thing in the world I think people are you know they're looking for things to blame and things to be angry with rather than yeah. looking for things to be you know enjoy and that's what this is it's not I don't care if it makes like it's it's, a, it's a, essentially a charity, you know. It might yep. promote the brand and it might make people want to drink Guinness, but yep. that's not what it'll sell. And I think, you know, regardless of whether people believe that or not, that's their problem. You know, if they want to be miserable and go around the world with conspiracies, and, <laughs> you know, I think that's that's unfortunately is an awful an awful side effect of the recession. Okay. Uh, people are getting a little bit more cynical, a little bit yeah. more bitter, and I'm like, you know, you're blaming the wrong things. You know, and that's that's you know, I think. At the end of the day, as an artist, it's one of the best days to be involved in. It's insane. Yep. Did you enjoy it last time? Yeah, it was like, it was, it's, it's, it's like something you say, oh yeah, we've done it before. You, you, you could pick any artists that's done it, like from the Scissor Sisters who were playing to, you know, Headline Acts who played the first one. Yeah. They've never done anything like that. Yep. It's different. It's absolutely different. And it's, it's like, I think they like being treated, like some artists get just get treated, like, you're there, go, now, get in a taxi, go, and they're kind of going, she like being treated badly, I don't like, <laughs> I don't like being a diva anymore, I don't like being able to go, well, if my writer doesn't have, get into that pub, sing the song, and get a free pint of Guinness, and then leave, go to Abra Barbara, and get a bag, you know, bag of chips, but don't whinge, it's a non-whinging event, which yeah. is awesome. So, the next file is just uh, finish the album, and then prepare for the road, is it? Yeah, I think the live side of it is important to me, I think right now we're, we've done a few gigs, we're not quite there yet, and, you know, I, 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 I was, you know, aware, like, the blizzards, and a lot of people, you know, really liked the stuff, a lot of people weren't into it, a lot of people, the one thing they couldn't take away was that we were live, and we put a lot into it, we were very, it was a bizarre thing, you know, and yeah. I think with this, I, I want that kind of consistency, and I want that kind of energy to stay, because it's the reason I got back into music, back into um, performing, is because like I just felt I missed it too much. Yeah. I was working as production. I was like, no, I can't sit here all day. I need to get out the stage, and so that's it, really. Well, if what we heard inside is anything to go by, I think um, the future's bright. Hopefully, yeah, yeah, happy. the future's yeah. bright. We'll see what happens. And I'll see you at the next Arthur's Day launch in two years' time. Two years. Two years. <laughs> two years. Is it, I think, I think it's like the World Cup. I think something like that. Like every four yeah. years, probably, yeah. probably, probably best. To be honest. Brilliant. Brazzy, thanks very much. Cheers, guys. Thanks.